surf line, Cayucas. There you can see beautiful conditions today, looking very nice. Offshore winds cleaned out the skies. Got a couple more days of that ahead. Shelly Odell Alex, beautiful shot of the sunset yet again. Again, there are some changes to how Facebook manages fan pages, but some people are figuring it out. There's a mentions tab. If you could post there, great. If not, just comment on the pinned post and we get your pictures up. And here's another one from Jennifer as well. The San Luis Obispo moon fighting some of the clouds. Right now, 71 degrees in San Luis. The dew point is just 35, meaning the air is fairly dry. In Santa Barbara, it's 60, but the humidity percentage is 72%. One of the reasons we were a little bit cooler on the south coast today. Didn't see those strong northerly winds like we did yesterday. Avila Beach, 63. The dew point, 49. Winds, 7. 77 at Santa Inez and Morro Bay today. So big jump for Morro Bay with the offshore winds of Paso at 80. 72 Pismo, 81 at San Luis Obispo Airport, 78 at Tascadero, 72 Lompoc, 64 Goleta, Santa Barbara, 69, 77 in Santa Maria. You can see how all the marine clouds are pushed well off the coast, even though we don't have strong offshore winds now. We did see enough breeziness in the afternoon to keep everything mixed. We're going to see more offshore winds as we go into tomorrow and Thursday as well. Now, later on this week, we will see that ridge begin to buckle. Onshore winds resume Friday through the weekend. Some marine influence and temperatures come back down. There is a chance of showers on Monday or Tuesday next week. Some models liking that. I'm a little more pessimistic about it because of the dryness of the air currently. Maybe some mist, drizzle, some sprinkles possible, but I'm not biting hard on it. Not yet, but stay tuned. I might add that to the forecast. The next better chance of rain around the mid month, but that's getting way out on the edge of modeling. So let's just tackle tomorrow and hourly coastal valleys into the 80s again, even mid 80s potential, depending on what coastal valley you're talking about. The interior valleys back up into the 80s, not just like today, the low 80s, mid 80s are definitely possible. Today was a bit of a transition day to these warmer conditions. South Coast temperatures again today, not really warm tomorrow, warmer. And the west facing beaches near 80 degrees. So this is going to be a get outside kind of day. Just want to show you that offshore morning wind turns into an afternoon onshore wind, stronger winds in Southern California and some awareness of the dryness of the air and the wind speed. Fire weather threat is definitely something that we're going to have to start thinking about pretty soon here. But you can see that offshore onshore couplet just kind of continues through the rest of this week. Mid 40s for overnight lows for the Central Coast, South Coast a little warmer in the 50s, but look at those numbers. Everybody in the 80s except for a few spots like Lompoc and the North Coast and a lot of beaches will be threatening 80 tomorrow. Avila is going to be one of them. AG, Pismo, Guadalupe 75. Wow. Santa Inez Valley temperatures into the mid 80s and Extended forecast has plenty of warm days ahead. The weekend will be cooler, but I don't think anybody's calling mid 60s and low 70s uh, a wreck because it's going to be a really nice forecast. Now, if you're waiting for rain, then maybe a bit of a disappointment, but this time of the year, it's not something we see as often as we do maybe a month prior. Nina.